I'm Mandy Knight. I'm here at Pier Point down in Fells Point with head chef Nancy Longo. Nancy has represented Baltimore in the Super Bowl for the past 16 years in the taste of the NFL. Now I've asked Nancy to come up with some ideas for tailgate foods for this Sunday's game against the Broncos. Let's see what she comes up with. The Colorado is made up of a lot of meat products, lots of lamb, lots of beef, and lots of bison. So we're going to use those, and in keeping with the fact that we thought it would be kind of fun because they have a quarterback by the name of Tim Tebow. The first thing we want to do is we want to get ourselves a nice cut of steak. Uh, New York strips or a, a nice little flank steak like this works really, really well because we want to do this with a marinade. Once it's ground, we want to go ahead and put it into a bowl. And then we're going to take our steak. Now this one I used a, a good flap steak because this is actually already clean. And goodness knows we need more time to party while we're at the stadium than we do to just uh, be doing a lot of work ahead of time. Also it's a very tender cut of meat. So I'm going to cut it into several pieces so that we have plenty of it. And then we're going to sit it in our little marinade. In the meantime for our trinity we're going to need some peppers, some onion, we want to dice these all up very, very, very small because they're all going to go as like a little relish on top of our steak. We're going to actually caramelize this, so that's why you're going to see a really dry saute pan here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask that sugar to be released from there. And then we want to also add some other indigenous ingredients to what we would need to make this happen, and that is some fresh tomato. And then last but not least, another indigenous ingredient to Colorado and a lot of those western states is corn. So we're going to add a little corn to our, our mix in here. We can start to hear that sizzling now. This kind of meat is always done pretty well, easily at medium rare. So if you have your trailer grill at the uh, stadium, really easy thing to do. You can smell the aroma from the chilies. It's really, really, really nice. One of the other things that you see that's typical of Colorado food is that they have a lot of things that are done like chicken fried steaks and those kinds of things. They would have some form of gravy. So I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little teeny bit of some beef broth to this to allow it to cook up and make this uh, a little bit softer. And we're going to take the meat and slice it relatively thin so that we can either, again, make it easy to eat because God knows some of our friends are all out there kind of not seated or standing up or they want to make a sandwich out of it. We seem to think that people like to make sandwiches out of tailgate food. And then we're going to pour our, our relish slash gravy on top. And you can see all that lovely juice from all the meat inside. And this is your Denver Broncos Tim Tebow Steak of the Week for your tailgate. And I predict we're going to have a big Ravens win by at least seven points. Nancy, that is a great prediction, and I have a prediction myself that the fans of Baltimore are going to love this dish at the tailgate. Wow, that is delicious. Tim Tebow would definitely say that is heavenly. Mm. And you can download this recipe on ravens247.com. Mm. It's good.